Good morning to our drummers. Good morning, guys. So uh, we have a new drum beat that we're going to work on uh, this week. A new drum pattern. Beat is actually the pulse that goes behind the music. We're going to, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes, too. Anyway, we had our 4-4 four, four pattern last week, our basic rock drum uh, pattern, and where you guys were working on putting your hi-hat with your snare and your bass together. And we had our count of one and two and three and four and our hi-hats were on every number and every and and our bass was on one and three so another name, another name is, is a kick drum a lot of drummers say kick drum instead of bass our bass drum or kick drum is on beat one and beat three our snare drum is opposite on beat two and beat four and our hi-hat keeps the whole thing together as you've been practicing like you've been practicing that at different tempos. Um, so our new pattern today is going to be very similar. It's still going to be counted as four, but instead of having our hi-hat do two taps on every count, one and two and three and four and, our hi-hat is going to do three counts on every, sorry, three taps on every count. And instead of saying one and, we're going to say one and a uh, to make it three. One and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. Ready? So it's going to be like this. One and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a second. Anyway, our pattern before was a, f uh, our first pattern was a four, four rock beat pattern. And it had eight eighth notes in it. If you know fractions, four-fourths equals the same thing as eight-eighths. They both equal one whole measure. But our new measure is going to be 12 eighth notes in one. If we had one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and uh, that's 12 altogether. Those do not equal the same thing. So we do have to adjust our measure and something called our time signature because our beats are uh, grouped into small measures, uh, small numbers called measures, and usually we're in groups of four. That's why you know most of our songs that we've ever done are in four. That's why most of our warm-ups, including today's warm-ups, are in four. That's why, I mean, just about everything we hear is in a regular four. This is also four, but it's got a slightly different, um, slightly different uh, count with it, a slightly different feel to it. Anyway, that time signature means how many beats per measure, how many count, what's our count, and how do we repeat it. So every time we get to four, we repeat again. And every quarter note gets a count. Four, quarter, four, four, just like before. Which is the same as eight eighth notes. That little flag there means it's an eighth, not a quarter. But eight eighth notes per measure. Again, not the same, not equal to 12 eighth notes per measure. So this grouping is still in a way kind of like four because we're going to count it like four, but it's called 12 because there's 12 eighth notes in the measure. We have to make the math work. So anyway, here's our original pattern. Eight eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. And here's our new pattern. 12 eighth notes on the hi-hat part. You'll notice that the kick drum, bass drum, and the snare drum are still, you know, playing in the same places, still playing on beat one and beat three, if we count it as four, and still playing on beat two and beat four, if we're counting it as four. But look how we could also count the count. So we have, if we're counting straight fours, we're gonna have one, two, three, four and repeat one two three four but if we're counting the twelve we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve which is the same as one two three four one two three four 
So it's, excuse me, so it's basically the same, except we're putting that little extra thing in there. You also might notice that the kick drum and the snare drum, all these quarters and quarter rests have these little dots here. That's because there's 12 eighth notes per measure, so we had to kind of adjust how we write this. We can get into that another time. That's not such a big deal. We're still going to count one, two, three, four. Ta 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 ta. So let's try it. Let's try just the hi hat part. The important thing here is to keep the count going in our head. One, two, three, four. Bass, snare, bass. Or you can also count it like fours, uh, like twelves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But it feels more like four, so we're going to count fours. Let's count fours again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I'm counting twelves now. Too early in the morning. Ready? Let's count four. So I'd like you to play along with um, the drum patterns that I've attached. Let's do one right now. I forget which one this is. That one's pretty fast, I think. Yeah, that one's kind of fast. This one, I think this one's pretty slow. Let's try it. I love this one. Give me a second. Powering on. Powering on. Start this drummer up. I don't know if you can hear that. Put my speaker closer. this drummer and do one that's a little faster. Okay, that one was slower. <laughs> Sorry, let me find the right one. Let's try this. That one's faster. So it still counted one, two, three, four. It still feels the same as four, four, except for that hi-hat. One and a two. Anyway, this pattern is very similar to the 4-4 pattern. It's not much different, not harder, just a little bit different to think about it. So play along with the drum tracks that I've attached, and I'm also going to put on some songs, um, some very popular songs, some pretty old, some newer, but um, songs that you may have already heard that are in this 12-8 pattern. Okay, have a lot of fun. I can't wait to see your videos. Goodbye to our drummers.